I feel like there's a lot of dog trainers who are in a very similar situation to the one that you were in, which is they have two jobs, right? They have, well, they have one job and they have their dog training business. And I know a lot of them want to ask the question of like, how soon would you be looking to leave? 90% of them always say the same thing, like immediately. I'd love to get out of this job immediately if possible. So what was it for you that kind of allowed you? It was, it was that you, was your hand kind of forced there at the end where like, you, you, you had to leave the job and you were just kind of like, okay, I'm going to go full-time in the business or what was the decision you made? Um, it was the fact that I knew that I was not going to have a good end if I mm -hmm. continued working in this type of um, toxic environment. Sure. And it really, the pain from that really pushed me to work hard on, um, you know, staying up late or waking up early to study for my dog training certification that I got online. Beautiful. You know, um, taking on the extra foster dog that I know is going to teach me how to deal with shy dogs that bite, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. And honestly, burning that bridge behind me was the best decision because now I couldn't um, just halfway yep. work on dog training. Now I was all in. Now I didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. And although that step was very scary, it was also incredibly liberating Mm -hmm. because I didn't realize like how much stress I was taking on with this, with maintaining this other job. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you need to, you know, you need to just burn the bridge. Right. And, and not in a bad way of like, you know, uh, you know, completely cutting off every person uh, on your way out the door or anything like that, but more so just kind of like going all in is a really powerful thing. Um, but I, you know, I, I love this story because I think this is super powerful for a lot of people that are in this situation right now where it's like, do I leave? Do I stay? What is it? And I think you're only going to know for yourself, right? It's like, if, if, uh, if it's the time, the right time or not, but I would tell a lot of people that as long as you have like a consistent way of requiring people, um, or you have like a consistent client base, it's, it really comes down to a numbers decision, right? Like, do I, am I making enough to really make this leap? And then at the end of the day, you know, what that's going to allow you to do is if you're only focused on one thing, it's going to give that one thing, your new business, all the room it needs to grow. Because if you're split in your two time, you know, you're splitting your time between two places, you know, how could you possibly expect one thing to grow into something that's making $5,000, $8,000, $10,000 a month? Because you're already devoting so much of your time on a daily basis to this other entity. Yeah. And maintaining that other job just destroyed my confidence all the yeah. time mm -hmm. because I couldn't share what I was doing in my dog life with the people there because they benefit from me not, not succeeding. Yeah. Like that way they get to keep you around. Yeah. Yeah.